Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to Creative Girl Vintage. I'm Tammy, and in today's video, I'm going to do some just good old-fashioned holiday crafting. I've pulled out a lot of vintage, a lot of other little doodads, and I thought I would create for you um, several different holiday assemblages. So it'd be a good time right now. Get out of the hustle and bustle. Take a break, grab a cup of holiday cheer, and join me. I'm going to start with an antique bottle. You know, my husband's a bottle digger, and uh, he would consider this a reject. I certainly do not. And I'm going to add just some of this little fake snow in here. I'm just going to use my hand as like a funnel. <laughs> I know this makes a big mess, but you know what? That's okay. We'll put it on the paper plate. All right. Got some pretty snow in our bottle. Okay. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, let's see. I've got a vintage package label here and I'm just going to put a little string on it so we could tie it on. I love these little vintage labels. Okay, let's see, I think I'll tie this on first. And then I've just got a little gingham bow here. I'm gonna tie that on next. Yeah, my husband, he, you know, he's really into more of the really valuable bottles that he digs up and he digs up some great stuff, but I am always happy to get the rejects. Okay, a little trim here. Let's see what else I got. How about these little vintage bells? Aren't they pretty? I'm going to add one of those. Right on this bow. Hot glue. And pop that little guy right on. Two would probably be cute too. Okay. And now this guy, this was a curbside find. There was a big put out. I, they were selling the house and there were some tubs inside. They were filled with Christmas, but they, unfortunately they were, it was Christmas decorations from like the nineties and two thousands, but this was in there as well as a Napco vintage turkey planter. So it was like a double score on the curb. I'm just going to take this guy and I'm just going to pop him right into this vintage bottle. And look at how cute that turns out. I'm going to set this on my kitchen counter. I think he's absolutely adorable. Let's move on to the next one. The inspiration for our next piece comes from these gorgeous little angel images. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Um, these came from one of my all-time favorite Etsy shops, which is Sweet Pea Curiosities. I'm going to link that below if you want to grab some of these. There's 35 angels that come in this set for you to download, and um, the next one's just as cute as, as, as the last one. They are absolutely adorable. So what I did here was just printed them out on just regular printer paper from my printer. And um, I, if you guys watch my videos, you know how I like to make paper a little bit stronger. I just turned my image over and used my stick glue and did the back and just laid it on a scrap of cardstock and let it dry. And I'm going to grab one of these little fillable domes. Um, I, I did the video where we made the, um, the picture of my house inside and made the home ornament. So that's basically, I'm using the same thing here. And let's just make... Lay this on here and make a circle with our pencil just to kind of mark where that thing's going to lay. And the same as I did that um, home ornament, I'm just going to go around the outside here, leaving a little bit of an inch, like a half an inch. We're going to be putting trim on there. so. It covers up any any ugliness you're wanting to hide from that paper. I'm going to try to make it as even as I can. All right. And let's put a hole in the top here for our hanger. 
normally I would probably put, I want to stay away from my line a little bit there. Normally I would put um, maybe a ribbon in there, but I had found this um, ornament hanger. It was just, I don't know, it was just in my stuff and I thought that's going to be pretty to use for that. So this here, I'm actually going to use this little side here where you would normally put the hanger, but I'm going to put it at the bottom. But first, I'm going to fill it with this glitter I have. This was a confetti glitter and it's little tiny gold and silver stars. And I'm just going to add some of that right to the center. Kind of leave it there undisturbed. And grab a little bit of um, Fabrifix glue. And, oops. Oh, there we go. I tell you, I have the worst luck sometimes with these glues getting jammed up. Hold on a second. I'm just going to clean this up. Sorry about that, you guys. I had, um, I had a toothpick in there. And I thought, oh, this will be good. This will just keep this opening open for me. And um, yeah, well, it broke. Didn't work. All right, I'm just going to go around my line here with this glue. I think this is getting kind of old. I probably need to refresh it a little bit. Okay, around like so. Keeping those stars in the middle. Keeping my ornament hanger at the bottom. Lay this right on the glue. And make sure that's straight. Shake those little stars around. She's so cute. Okay, and what I had was a vintage crystal from a chandelier. And I thought how pretty that would be to put right on the bottom of this. And a little tinsel trim. Isn't that cute? It reminds me of, um, it's like really Victorian looking. I love that. Right. Just going to use my hot glue and carefully Go around here. I don't want to get any glue strings on that plastic. Lay that on there like so. Let me put this on here so in case I glue trim down and lose my little hanger hole there. I love the old tinsel trim, garland trim, that's on those very old Victorian ornaments. It's really beautiful. Okay, and finish that up like so. Okay. She's really pretty her stars in there. There we go with all those little stars. Snow in there would have been cute too. Um, this is off of a vintage hat. Let's see what I got in here. Oh, it's pretty. How about a little velvet? This is just a piece of velvet ribbon that is just tied in a knot, trimmed off. Pop it on right there. And these pretty vintage flowers, maybe right there. That's so pretty. Didn't she turn out cute? With her little stars in there and her crystal. I love that one. Okay, let's do another one. We're going to start off this project with this little tiny paper mache cone. I was just at Hobby Lobby and there was a pack of six of them and all their Christmas was 70% off. So that was a really super good deal on that. So what I did here, I had it like a little scrap and I really didn't know if this was going to work or not, but I put my point right on the point of the page of the 
the uh, actual sheet music page. I put my point there and I rolled it and just took my pencil and just made a mark all the way down. And I have to admit, um, lining up my point here and putting this back on, I actually made this fit. I was a little bit surprised, but instead of using this, I found an old Christmas card. So I have a vintage card here, and um, I get a lot of mileage out of my cards, so I kind of take them apart. We've got good words, and um, I like to save everything when I'm tearing up an old Christmas card. So let's put this aside for a second. I'm going to take this pattern that I made instead of re-rolling this on here, since it fit, and lay it right here on the corner. And it fits nicely, actually. And let's just make a pencil mark here. So we have a guide to cut by. And cut this out. I'm looking at the trim on the edge here too and I'm very attracted to that. So I think we can use that too. Let's just cut it out. Let's see if we can use it. Alright. Gosh, can't let that go to waste. All right, guys, let's see if this works. Okay, my point is here. Da -da, da -da. I think it's gonna work. So, um, let's see, let me just, let me do a bead of hot glue up the center here and let's just lay it in place just so we've got it lined up and it's not going anywhere. All right. glue on the edge here and wrap that on and the same on this side. If you're hearing some racket right now in the background, I apologize for that. My craft room is in the basement of our home and you know I've got a 1920s house and so it doesn't have one of those fantastic finished basements by no means but I carved out my little hidey hole down here and of course, you know, the heat's on, it's really cold outside, and so you can hear that clicking on and making a racket. That's pretty on the top. I like that. So let's get a little hot glue going and put this trim on here. How cute. I'll tell you, that Christmas card gave us a little bang for our buck, for sure. Oh, that's a pretty card too with the snowman. This didn't stick down as flush as I wanted it to, but I kind of like the way it looks. I'm going to go with it. I've got a vintage pipe cleaner here, and I'm going to put a little dab right here, and a little dab on the other side to make a little hanger. Now look at this little cutie right here. This is a sweet little angel and she's been scotch tape back together. She's perfect for this. I'm just gonna pop her inside here. And let me just put a little tiny bit of glue on her edges and put her right there. This is a little bit of um, tree garland, vintage tree garland. I remember the day I found this at the flea market. I was never so excited in my life. It was a whole box of it. Oh, so special. So I'm just gonna use some little pieces just to add a little bit of sparkle in there. And kind of cover up anything that you don't wanna see. Like the scotch tape, right? <laughs> you can always cover that stuff up better believe it. Whenever you see something that needs a little love, you know you can fix it. Okay, let's move that out of the way. All right, she's coming along so cute here. Um, how about this? This is, um, I've got some vintage clip-on earrings and the back came off of this one, but it stayed together really nice. I think that would look cute right there. Put 
that on right there. Look at how sweet this is coming out with all these little, little vintage pieces. And, all right, what's this Christmas card? Here it is. Not sure, but you know what? Unless we try, we don't know. I'm going to cut out the Merry Christmas off of this card. Now, let's see. Oh, of course. Of course that should go there. Let's just trim it up a little bit better. Make it look a little more, a little more banner-like. Trim our edges up a little bit. Okay, make sure it still fits. Yes. Dot of glue, dot of glue. Merry Christmas, right there. I think I'm gonna give this to my sweet little granddaughter, Aubrey, because she truly is a beautiful little angel in my life. Didn't that turn out cute? All right, I got one more for you. This project was inspired by my friend, Mary. She gave me these little um, aluminum foil reflectors that go on the old Christmas lights. And um, we were talking about some ideas of some things to do, and she gave me a few ideas of what she would like to see. So I'm gonna put this together. And these are, these are a little um, delicate. So to make this ornament a little bit more stable, I'm just gonna grab a little piece of unfinished wood and glue it to the back. That'll give us a place to hang. Hold on, you guys, let me get a glue stick here. That'll give us a place to put a hanger. And also give this a little bit of support as well. a little bit stronger. Um, got a little bit of silver cord or, oh, I don't know. This is a nice hanger right here. I'm going to go with this. We're going to do the old tinsel hanger on the back. All right. So big dollop of glue. Just going to take and lay that right there for the hanger. Okay. That hangs nice. Oh, how about, here's a little scrap from a doily. Let's, let's just cover up our hanger right there and add a little vintage to the back as well. All right, our back looks good. Flip her over. Now, this is... I find these old doilies at the flea market and a lot of them are stained and in disrepair. So I'll cut them up and use them for things. And so let's take, let me see, here it is. I cut a piece out of there, out of this one earlier. I'm gonna lay that right in there. I would probably get my Fabrifix glue back out for this, but it's tending to be a little globby today. So I have to refresh that and get a new bottle. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use the hot glue. All right, now, how about, right in the center here, let's add a little piece of this fur. That'll make it nice and wintry looking. And got some, these clip-on earrings here, this one has the back off of it. So it's ready to glue on. A little bit of glue on there. Pop it right on. It's going to press that down on that fur so it holds tight. And then, okay, now I wouldn't, I don't know which one to go here. I've got the little deer. Oh, I've got this little angel. And they are both absolutely adorable, but you know me, I tend to always, I always pick the deer. I love the deer. I put him right here, little vintage guy. I remember finding him at a garage sale 
it was a little kit to make an ornament like from the 60s and uh, a lot of pieces were missing but the deer was in there and here this was they were together the little baby so sweet okay and um all right here we go you know i love those little alphabet beads i just put the word joyful and um right glued it right onto a scrap of lace i found this is a good way to keep these alphabet letters organized oops not upside down girl flip that thing okay there we go and look at how easy that came together and isn't that darling? Turned out so cute. I, I have to make more of these. I have more of these reflectors. So I definitely want to make an angel one too. So it's so sweet. I hope you were inspired by today's holiday vintage assemblages. I truly enjoyed sharing these with you and crafting with you today. Wishing you a very blessed and Merry Christmas to all of you and all of your loved ones. I'll always be back with more crafting. Thank you for your support. It is truly appreciated. Love you all, and I will see you soon.